here. All we right, would already have taken over the world. See, but Chris has been waiting on his Ryan Ginger to actually, you know, kick in before he got started, so... See, I've been recording video now for, like, 30 seconds, and there's just a bunch of shit that I can't edit out, so thanks a lot for that. What do you mean? You, you never edit anything out anyway. Chris, you so fast. Not since Renee took over editing. Renee, not after last fix time. this in post. Not after last time. <laughs> the that blood the accident. <laughs> That's okay. why you always leave a note. Oh, excuse me. Uh, thank you, everybody, for downloading this latest episode of That D&D Podcast. Uh, uh, Bobby disappeared. I Thanks, killed Bobby. him. We can fix that in post. Keep going. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for downloading this latest episode of That D&D Podcast. Uh, instead of uh, using the normal characters tonight, we will be uh, introducing a few new ones uh, with the same players as usual. So... Why don't we go around and introduce everybody, uh, and then we'll get into the uh, background for why the hell we're doing this. Uh, so, my name's Chris, as you may have figured out by this point. I don't know if you listen to this all the time, which hopefully you do. If not, go back and download everything and then come back to this one. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the GM for the 4th edition campaigns, and that's what we're playing right now. So, next, let's go to somebody else. Hi, I'm Mike Jadarson Berard. You might know me from such podcasts, such as that D and D podcast. I am the other GM most of the time. Um, I DM the fifth edition stuff right now, um, and I'm woefully behind on editing that. Uh, tonight, I'm playing Lash, the Barbarian, whose name is Varys, but she's still Lash. Not really, but really. Hi, hey. I'm Robert. I typically play the part of Koro, the Eladrin wizard, but tonight I'm going to be playing the role of Pickles, the half-orc fighter. <laughs> so, Named uh, not so because of the color of his skin. I hate you for naming him Pickles. So, <laughs> next up is Wang. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway, sorry, continue. I think Chris has turned into a robot. And has yeah, broken. Chris, you stopped downloading yeah. all the porn. Chris, you're you're getting up here. You're gonna have to. What? You're going through a tunnel, I think. Yeah, uh, breaking up, Chris. I can hear me perfectly. Oh, that solves all the problems. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, hi, I'm Adam. Usually play Gazran, the paladin. Uh, tonight I'll be playing Nori, the Tenku rogue, and it should be interesting. Still a half paladin, half. Kind of yes, it's exactly what this tanky rogue is. Yeah, less with the morals and more with the uh, putting blades into people. I'm pretty sure the lawful good rogue, right? Is that what you made her? Putting blades? Maybe. Gently inserting them or asking politely before taking yes. the stuff. No, I have no alignment. Therefore, <clears throat> pretty sure that means I'm chaotic I'm evil. Oh, should I check my alignment? You have no alignment. Chaotic that evil. makes Excellent. you too chaotic. Evil. Okay, well, there we go. This is the villain's campaign. Welcome. So, one of the remaining three people, hey, introduce yourselves. Hi. Hold on. I can't. The other I'm, I'll be playing the, uh, act. The music <laughs> law shifter, who I just noticed... When Adam was putting him together, gave him 30 arrows, but did not whoa, whoa, give whoa. him a bow to Why use them with. Why are you accusing me of something here? I didn't make because he's look alike, drunk Adam. already. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I said Adam, so I meant that's because you were up next, Adam. It's actually Chris's uh, fault. My bad. Okay. Yeah, sure. Anyway, so one of the remaining <laughs> two, go say some shit. Talk about how I did another bad thing. Go for it. Throw some shade. Um, I'll go. I'm Renee. I usually roll lots of nines, unless I play other characters. So tonight I'll be rolling really well, because I am playing Artan, the dwarf thing. Bard, a bard with a sword. There you go. Sarcastic wit and all. Sward and bard. Yep. And last but not least, we have Kira, who is played by... Andrew. Andrew, you're not this, making words. This... Is this a Kira or the Kira? Huh? Hi, I'm Foz, who's secretly not Andrew Oatway at all. I mean, hi, I'm Andrew Oatway, and definitely not a changeling barbarian berserker in real life. Uh, and tonight, as Andrew Oatway, I will be role-playing the role of Kira, who is also definitely not Foz in disguise. But she is a robot. That was, that was something to follow. Okay, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so a little bit of backstory for this part. Uh, this section of our little narrative takes place about 200 years uh, before uh, the events of the main campaign that the Racketeers are involved in. Um, we're starting off in a little town called Light Mist. It's a small coastal hamlet. It's somewhere along the southeastern uh, corner of the continent. Uh, the party has been kind of making a bit of a name for themselves, doing odd jobs around town. Uh, the town is not altogether recent, but it's only been around for maybe a, a decade or two, uh, so there's still a few of the growing pains going on, you know, clearing out some of the wildlife that is less domesticatable. Um, and uh, they are currently returning from the basement of a building called uh, Jenny's Goblet. It's the town watering hole. It's run by Genevieve. Uh, she owns the tavern. Uh, she asked you guys to take out some, she says, she called them big fucking rats. Uh, going down into the basement, you realize that was not an exaggeration. These things were probably the size of a large cat or medium-sized dog. Um, but were they having sex with each other? Whoa. The rats? Yeah. I... So Otherwise, they're not big fucking rats, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, in the process of clearing them out, you also notice that uh, there was some rotted wood down in the basement, and um, I take it all. The wooden wall uh, <laughs> actually uh, kind of is knocked away in some parts, and you can see through the hole that it leads off into a small cave opening. Wait, which which direction was it knocked away? Was it knocked down, or was it knocked up? It was pushed in. They weren't having sex, the so nobody was knocked up. Gotta keep that thread going. This could be like an abstinence-only city, so they might yeah, not. Yeah, around. Doesn't, doesn't have a lot of we can, very good future in that case. <laughs> so uh, you guys get upstairs, and uh, Genevieve sees you exiting the basement. Uh, she's a half elf, probably in her uh, mid forties or so. Uh, she's a big fan of wearing. Overly tight-fitting clothing that accentuates her figure, which she is rather proud of, as you can tell. She uh, armed? Hmm? She armed? Uh, not that you can tell. I mean, aside from a, a bar knife for cutting citrus. I prepare an action to attack in case she attacks us first. <laughs> okay. Uh, she sees you. Uh, she sees you guys exiting. She smiles. and She says, hey, so, uh, so how'd it go down there? Those definitely were some beasts of unusual size. Rodents, my friend. So I've heard I've heard things in in uh, in, in passing about about rat kings. Did you guys find anything down there? Is that is that a thing that exists? Do they pay double? The king? It didn't really seem like they had any established you know hierarchy, much less a monarchy. So yeah, gov there was no government to speak of. Probably despotism. So every rat for themselves. They're <laughs> a rat despot. <laughs> Every rat is his own king. No rat gods or rat kings, only rat men. <laughs> That's funny. So did you guys, uh, I mean, I, I assume since you're all back up here that, that all the things in there are dead, which is good. Uh, did, did you guys figure out where they were coming from, maybe? Through the I, walls. Uh, okay. uh, what? They were coming out of the goddamn walls. Uh, That's not good. I'm going to have to check into that, I guess, unless, uh, what, I mean... I would suggest not getting cheese-flavored lumber the next time. Duly noted. Uh, you know, or lumber-flavored cheese. Cheese wood well, that would is, explain a lot. Is, is, you know, it was cheap at the time. I'm, I'm understanding why now. So, did you um, guys, I mean, did, did you investigate where they came from, or... The wall. We didn't explore very further, but you've got some really bad uh, structural rot down there. The wood's going to have to get torn out and replaced and reinforced, probably. Uh, you know a guy? She probably knows a guy. I know some people. Uh, there, there's a couple lumberers and craftsmen I can probably get to come fix it for, you know, the promise of a, a free couple drinks. Free what now? Hey now. Free to bet? I mean, 
if you guys want, you can check it out. You know that that's that's up to you. But uh, sounds like a quest. That's no well. Uh, if you're looking exclamation for... <laughs> point disappears from above her head. <laughs> or if you're looking to do a random errand, I've got I've got one of those you could do. Wait, wait, first, first, okay. So choices of payment. Uh, I've <laughs> yes, I I take I take silver, copper, and gold. So I can give you three gold nuggets apiece, which is, from what I'm understanding, is like a more universal currency. Or I can give you ten light coins, which are pretty much only spendable here. Light coins. Were they made by Dr. Light? What's a doctor? The person who's excelled in the field of uh, macro or microbiologists. Very, I don't know much of what I say. Anyway, so you know, figure out how you want to be paid, and uh, and then add that to your inventory. Kira seems utterly disinterested by the concept of remuneration. Why is, why is my computer banging? What are you guys doing? Talk about this over dinner. Ash is gonna take the gold nuggets because gold is good everywhere. Gold is delicious. See, so yeah, I just, you know, make a note, whichever one you picked. Um, Might even be able to buy some light coins with these. <laughs> <laughs> she, she says, Everywhere in town, there's just signs we do not accept light coins. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would the heavy ones instead? If you see a light coin, imagine, you know, you press a button and this thing shoots out of a, a handle that's made of light and looks like a coin. Brow. What? How many light coins does it take to make like a stack of them such that you can turn it into a light bike? You can. I want a light bike. <laughs> you can buy a wagon for about two hundred light coins. The game has changed. Anyway, so now that you've all been paid, if uh, if you'd be willing to do another task, I mean, you seem pretty dependable. It's it's pretty easy and. I'll pay you again. More pay is good. Well, what? Do you have, like, another cellar with rats in them? Because... This, this time it's even gianter cat. No, I just... You guys remember Gideon, right? And, uh... Everybody in town knows that name. He's... Somewhat of a relic hunter. Uh, he, he's one of the older members of the town probably close to, I don't know, 70 or 80, which is pretty old for a human at that time. Um, and uh, as of recently, he left town, uh, went into the woods, and has sort of become a hermit. Um, she says, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about him, and he hasn't been around for a few weeks, so if you guys would maybe be willing to uh, just bring him a little little box of groceries for me. I'd really appreciate it. He's a he's an old friend and a good customer, and I'd hate for him to die out in the woods because he got a you know wild hair up his ass. Not uh, he shouldn't be putting um, rabbits anywhere into his behind. I'm I'm not a rabbitographer, but I'm pretty sure that's not how rabbits are meant to be administered. They're oral, clearly. You guys right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm just hanging on to these rabbits for a friend. I have no idea where they came from. It's like ashes. Why are you drinking ashes beer? That's not very nice. But with chocolate milk mix. Oh, ashes. Yeah. As of a person. Yo, I, I just ordered that, and he just drank cost him one points. of his gold nuggets. Like rude. I've got other currency. It's not like I was broke, except for the gold I can, nuggets. I can pay with his body. <coughs> I've got Whoa. I've got thirty arrows. I mean, <laughs> thirty-one, if you know what I mean. Whoa! I yeah. don't. Hey, hey, Chris! I don't, I don't, play. I don't play your NPCs, so maybe you should lay off. 
<laughs> snap, well, then maybe snap, you guys snap. should Whoa. do a thing. Do you want to deliver groceries or no? Kira is uh, in because no. uh, Gideon what? was nice to her. Delivering groceries seems like a task worthy of adventurers of our stripe. <laughs> Even though we literally groceries. just killed rats in a pub basement. Maybe they're the groceries. <laughs> Shit, that's awesome. We make rat burgers. Yeah, I yeah. hope the grocery list was a bunch of dead rats. That's big carne asada. Fresh, fresh giant rat meat. <laughs> Any horses down there? What do you think the rats were eating? Exactly. Cheese walls, apparently. Eat a rat king, you'll feel like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so various... Only kings are allowed to eat rat kings. <laughs> That's right. It's nature. <laughs> it's not for common folk. I, I take my little birds and go on to the, uh, the guy's <clears throat> household. The guy with the putting hairs up his butt. He's he's a hermit out in the woods. I guess he doesn't have much else to do, but seriously, bro. Well, I guess if he's a hermit out in the woods, I can go help these guys not die out there. Okay. Uh, she's going to slide a medium-sized crate across the counter to you. Uh, Slyly. I push I push the uh, the bag of cat <laughs> on the table. It scrapes against the floor. <laughs> I'm imagining medium-sized, meaning like a medium-sized 5x5x5 five by five by five foot cube. <laughs> right, and she's flush. just discreetly shoving it. <laughs> well, she had it behind the counter waiting for somebody to agree to deliver it, so she's not trying to be uh, No, discreet. I wrote a 21 perception. I should be able to see that. It... You see through the counter? <laughs> Amid this nice. sea of rolls. I haven't read anything in the chat, so... As That's probably the a way good idea. There was a lot of macro testing, so, you know... So yes, she uh, she slides the, the crate across the counter. Uh, it's got a few weeks worth of supplies if you rationed it. It's got some some full water skins. It's got some jerky, some fresh fruit, uh, you know, some vegetables, stuff like that. Kira hefts the crate on one shoulder and just begins leaving. Right, he's he's in the uh, crap. What is it called? Hold on, I wrote it down. Vomitorium. I'm imagining she's actually saying all of this. She, he's in the, um, fuck, I have it written down somewhere. One second, please hold. No shit, the goes in the box. Da, 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 oh, God damn it. Um, where did I leave that thing? And then, like, starts tapping her legs to try to remember where it is. Tap her legs for her. Son of a bitch. <laughs> he's in the Twilight Woods, the ones, uh, sort of northwest well, of town. fuck that. No, I'm no longer interested. Twilight Woods? Jesus. They're through the spooky door. I mean, it's fine as long as you go there, you know, between You're through the spooky 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. Yeah, it's it's still early morning. I mean, you guys should be able to bake it to wherever that is. Yeah, you don't want to there. be there for that midnight twilight. It's the worst okay, twilight. Wait, I, I, I'm sorry. Can I, can I ask you a question, Chris? Yep. On my character sheet, it has stats for rolling a ranged attack with a longbow. Uh-huh. But I don't have a longbow. No, have, you do. Does it have Bad damage trick. rolls too? Because if so, then yes, you do. It does, but it's not listed in my equipment. Please. It's in your main hand. Your main Make hand. it appear. Which one is which one is you? Ash. Well, I guess it is listed in my main hand. Well, there you go. Did it conclude? <laughs> Yeah, oh my! Oh, that was a, that was an it's awesome right little. There. Ash is Ash is just standing there. Oh my god! <laughs> what is the boat here? I'm trying to reach them, you can't figure out why. Like there's some object blocking him from doing stuff. Well, I'm, Fuck! I'm this glad. is a boat. How did you get here? I'm glad I figured this out now, so I can shoot stuff at range in combat instead of running up with a sword like a moron. This is your strong word adventure here, guys. <laughs> trying to go through a doorway and it's like catching and he can't go through. Why does this fucked up walking stick have string on it? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> it's so bouncy. Uh, yes. So and why do I have 30 toothpicks strapped to my back? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> so he's in the Twilight oh, Woods. Man. Uh, it's only maybe two hours northwest of here. You guys should be able to make it in, in plenty of time. And um, I'll pay Is this you. a timed quest? Are this, is the groceries going to spoil in a couple hours? No. Does I'm this just... guy have refrigeration? One of you... No, it's the a demons are going to come quest, out of the woods, I'm rather too. hesitant once I said Twilight Woods, so I figured the concept of you getting there before even noon would probably, uh, you know, 
silence some of those worries? I'm curious mm, sitting the witching hour? And at this point, just chilling on the crate. So not Max, or Rex, and Uncle. Yeah, shining her boots. Okay, let's go over this box. Go. Yep, let's go. Cool. So this shit is going anywhere so far. <laughs> so yes, uh, you guys head out of town. Uh, you make it to the edge of the woods, and you can tell why they're called the Twilight Woods because just with the thick tree cover, uh, not a whole lot of the sunlight gets through. So uh, there seems to be a sort of perpetual state of twilight during the daytime. Uh, as you walk in, you smell uh, the kind of thick gross stench of rotting vegetation and as you explore uh, you see the bodies of several animals uh, that appear to be weeks dead uh, in various slings and traps um, it's really gross yeah. and humid in there so it makes everything just kind of icky and uncomfortable uh, anybody wearing awesome. cloth armor isn't isn't as uncomfortable but everybody else it just kind of it gets under your leather and, and metal armor and it's just gross and slimy and yeah. Uh, like sand, it's gross and it gets everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. And as you're walking around, there's you know the mud kind of seems to suck on your shoes as you try to walk, and it makes this gross squelching sound. And there's big fat mosquitoes, probably the size of your fist, flying around. Um, awesome. But who wants are we to shrinking? Be... Nope. Who wants to be the navigator? Okay. Navigator to do anything? Can I intimidate the forest into submission? <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Can I assist with that role? Bully some trees. Yes. 20. Is that your intimidation? Yes. Okay. Uh, as you do that, you hear a panic squeak from some sort of rabbit as it flees as fast as it can into the uh, the woods. Careful, buddy. There's this guy around here that wants to put you in his butt. <laughs> That's why it squealed and left. As it runs off, Pickles goes, rawr, rawr, and it squeaks again and runs faster. Pickles so thinks that that need, rabbit knew something. I'm gonna need a navigator. <laughs> because your only source of Woodland's info just ran away. <laughs> rabbit? And yeah, hold, hold on just it. a second. Can I diplomatically apologize to the rabbit? <laughs> if you can acrobatically catch it. <laughs> How about athletics? Okay, so I need somebody to make a perception or nature check to be the navigator. Alright, uh, how about my check from earlier? Can I use that for perception? No. <laughs> that didn't, I didn't mean for that to be as loud. Sorry. No. Who has good perception and or nature? Yeah, I've got... Pickles I got a wooden plus, both. How are you rolling a plus six and plus... Oh, never mind. You get... I got pretty good nature. You know, I'm a ranger and all. You guys want me to? Seems like it. you should shoot that goddamn rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, shoot the rabbit. Point us in the correct direction. So bunch, as, of un but a you're, bunch of bunch of ungrateful navigating? little yeah. rabbit fuckers. Is is this a nature or perception check? This is going to be a nature check. Okay. It's rather clearly S rabbit sitting, scaring off freaking dinner because you guys are. To, so, to city folk. Maybe to, it's running back to its den. Lead us to more dinner. 19. Very Got good. Got a 19, yep. So, so what you're saying is I scared the forest better than he navigated it. You scared one part of the forest better than he navigated all of it. I'll take it. So <laughs> you are able to read some of the, uh, the less obvious signs of frequent passage. Uh, you know, some some bent branches, some of the uh, the underbrush kind of being trampled and stuff. So, um, rabbit tracks. Following it uh, for about an hour or so, uh, you you manage to probably make some headway, but you're at an area that seems rather familiar. So, give me one more nature check. Oh man, another nature check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Nice. Very well. Very good. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, the process seems to repeat almost. It leads, it seems to be in circles, 
And after doing this two or three times, uh, eventually you come to what appears to be the place you entered the forest, but there's a cabin there now. Which cardinal direction is the music coming from? All around, it seems. Just a weird, jaunty, like, pan pipe flute thing. When guy starts rhyming and dancing, I'm out. And then there's some other fucker wearing a mask that's going to be important in the sequel? Yeah, maybe. You never know. Uh, but no, this this cabin appears to be uh, recently constructed, probably within the, the previous month or two. Um, just based on I the bet. fact that there's no uh, plant life growing on it, really. Um, you, you, you assume that it's, it's probably recently built. Expecting trouble, Varus goes and kicks on the door. Now, Kira, before that can happen, has set the groceries down on the dude's doorstep and just walked away. Okay, so... Did you hear that? It sounded like a Ash scream. Ash was impressed at how well it was uh, constructed and hidden. Did you hear that? It sounds like a scream. I swear someone's calling for help from the inside. Varys, are I you, swear are someone you is yelling probable cause probable inside. Cause. Varys, you said you're kicking the door down? Yes. Okay, do you want to use the crate to first? help batter the door down, or do you want to jump over the crate to get an extra good angle on your kick? Are there any windows, first of all? Yeah. Let's go like I'll one, just peek one, into a window instead. The front. You should you should just yell no knock warrant and go in through a window. <laughs> okay, are you trying to just peek through or are you trying to be stealthy while you peek through? I just want to see if anyone's there. There are two people there. I wave at them and leave. Neither of them noticed you. They're busy t chatting with each other. Uh, they seem so there are two people. Does anyone feel the need to make sure that they're both alive? They're chatting, so I hope so. Well, look, man, they were filled with... Oh, uh... God, I think one of them is armed. Citizens <laughs> okay. arrest, bang. So, not sure why, but Nori's going to walk up and knock on the door. I think that we should knock on the door. Kira thinks their well, job is done here. Apparently, and is ready to leave. apparently, apparently, somebody already decided to knock on the door with their foot. He, so, well, though, he changed that he plan, changed so his okay. mind. He was gonna, and then he was like, "Oh, never mind." I'll peeping just through windows through now. Window. Yeah. So I'll knock on the door. I think Nori already did it, but that's you guys can both knock. You could be a knocking. Well, team. I'll knock on you, the door yeah, together. Yeah, you, you rush together to rush the to. That was a really cool knock. Did you guys download that from like uh, freeaudiomusic.com? <laughs> freeaudiomusic.com. <laughs> for, for all your Semi door knocking needs. Knocks. So you guys knock on the door, and for a second, the uh, the sound of a chair scraping against the wood uh, can be heard over the buzzing of the insects. Uh, there's a small grunt. And you hear some shuffling footsteps, followed by the occasional clack of a walking stick. Uh, after what seems like a kind of long time for how small the cabin is, uh, the door is Just one opened. of those strange um, walking sticks with a string on it? Nope, this is a regular walking stick. Um, after what seems like a long time, the door is opened by a an old man with a long gray beard and some very worn clothes. He he looks down at you all and he says, "Oh, I, I didn't expect any company. Who who are you? Yeah, hey, are we delivered groceries? your crap. Crap. Yeah, are you that hermit guy that we're supposed to be finding here in the woods, delivering groceries from some random innkeeper. I don't remember her name. Sorry. I'm the busty one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jenny. Yeah, that narrows it. Jenny. Down. Yeah, Jenny. Sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. She's she's nice. Always thought of her like a daughter." I used to have a daughter, but she died, so, you know, eh, replace That's me. not depressing at all, but here, we're here delivering your groceries. I <laughs> well, think. guess what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? Box, what's in the box? Well, thanks. Um, I'm having some, some tea with with a friend. If you guys want to come in, I can, I don't know, make you some snacks or some food or something or just some tea. What does the old man smell like? Uh. Hi. He just kind of smells like stale air and books. Yeah, no thanks. We were just going to head back out of this. But thanks. Okay, well. Could you sign this receipt for us? 
for proof of deliverance. Hold on a second, and he wiggles his hand towards the inside of the cabin, and a an ink quill or an, an a, a quill and an ink, ink bottle uh, float over, and uh, he uses that to sign the paper for you. So we don't know that magic exists, correct? No. Pickles do kind we, of freaks out a little bit. Do we know that this is a thing that is wrong and bad? Uh, to your knowledge, <laughs> neither of those objects is capable of independent flight unless thrown violently. Okay, Kira vomits all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear! And he, he steps back. Do you, do you need some tea? You might make you, you, you might make Get you the hell away from me. <laughs> this guy's really from... pushy on the tea. <laughs> Get the hell away from me. Also, no. Also, ah. Oh, the, the thing. I, I'm so sorry. I forgot the effect it has on some people. That's why I live out here. Uh, if you come in, I can explain everything. Nope. I can explain Over it. Over Nope. I can explain it to you out here if you'd like. I just, it's nice to have some company that's here, if that makes any sense. Listen, creepy you, old man in the woods. Accept my plot point. <laughs> no, sorry, just joking. I'll listen to it. Pickles will listen. Stay Pickles is goddamn I'll fascinating. Listen. Ash is going to listen just because everybody else is acting like they're too scared to do it. Uh, so you act like he's here. Just got it. He's going to motion inside towards the other person he was he was drinking tea with, and this weird <laughs> shimmery figure is going to walk to the door. Uh, it looks very much like an elf, but just the general disposition and clothes are stuff you've never. S the clothing is is something you haven't seen before, and the ears look way never too seen long clothing to be before. An elf. Do we know that elves exist? One of you is a half elf, so yes. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, we know that elves half exist. <laughs> we know that elves uh, get people pregnant, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they exist. So mm -hmm. the uh, the shimmery figure comes up and it puts a hand in front of its mouth, as you know, as if it's whispering. You can't hear any of the words coming out, but it still makes the motions all the same. And he he kind of nods. He says, oh, "Okay, so the the whole story." Uh, I, I woke up a while back and... Feeling like P. Diddy. Someone was... I thought there was an intruder in, in my in my my home. And I, I couldn't find my candle, so I thought, if only I could see. And I, I made a fire in my hand. And that terrified me. And some of the people in town didn't take kindly to me being able to do that so I figured it was best if I left um, my friend here has been trying to teach me how to how to hone my abilities I guess Can we actually see this friend or is she some sort of it's uh, ghostly apparition he's somewhat visible somewhere between like uh, the weird wobbly heat shimmer you get off the highway when it's really hot outside and an actual person it's a coat rack with a lab coat on it. <laughs> and just ears from some various woodland creatures stuck on the side. <laughs> it's, it's two bunnies that have been impaled on the coat rack. Oh. He says, um... My, my better friend, than his ass. My friend here has been, um, telling me there are artifacts that you can use to to enhance your abilities, or there's some that allow people to control the elements without having abilities at all. Um, Alright, look, you know, that's... We are hale and healthy, and we don't need any pills to help us control the elements. Well, I... I'm not so hale and healthy, and I'd really like to be able to learn more about this before I... before I die. I mean, I don't really have a bloodline to continue, or... I'd just like to... That might be to down to the smell. The you want one, sailor? Wow. You volunteering? No, I'm a guy. <laughs> I mean, you could give one the kid to adopt, right? Yeah. That's not exactly. It's a not blood a bloodline, though. Yeah. He says. Um, Gesundheit. There's there's another series of of, of woods further in. Uh, there's a there's a place called the Hedge Hollow. It's the center of of these woods. Uh, it's supposed to be some Twilight sort woods. of sacred place uh, 
my friend is telling me that there's some tree that's that's corrupt and it needs to be killed before it can spread its corruption further. Um, I can't do it myself, but if you'd be willing to, to kill the tree and bring me some of the heartwood from the tree, I could I could pay you handsomely. Well, you know what? Hiring us to kill a tree? He holds out two sacks, uh, probably the size of his head, uh, full to the brim with various uncut gemstones and uh, nuggets well, of I, precious I, metals. Well, I, I think we could probably manage that, but I, I have to ask, uh, before we go out there, uh, your friend, uh, what what is their name? He he never really told me. Did you ask? I, I did, but he said there was there was more important business to to get to. He... He said he was rude uh, to me because uh, he says I know how to how to manipulate the ether or, or something to that. Oh does, yeah, that that sounds does, like a that sounds like a really great. Does, this is a goddamn demon from the fade. Going. Does this guy look anything at all like a rabbit? Or are there any other bunnies around? <laughs> he, go. he looks like an elytron. Is he missing like an eye and a hand? No, he's got all of his parts. <laughs> that you can tell. Does he have an extra eye and an extra hand? <laughs> he's got the, the normal amount. <laughs> so we're clear, there are no ether bunnies nearby? God. <laughs> nice. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we'll go kill a tree. It's all good. Yeah, I kind of don't want to do what creepy guy says. There's no such eh. thing as a living tree. It's gonna be fine. Well, you know, I and can he's, hear you, right? Like, he's gonna give us a. <laughs> that's kind of rude. I offered you. Are you sure? Because you're old. Pipe down, creepy old guy. You smell awful. Well, <laughs> that's your vomit, asshole. I live in the woods, and you threw up on my porch. <laughs> After giving you food, a thanks is all that's you in threw order. Up on the crate. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, so our town. <laughs> Done with all of that. Listen, I, I walk I'll take off the other way. And Kira picks up the crate and starts stomping on I it. apologize I... for my associate's behavior. Really, the the offer of, of food is is most kind, but my friend just he he can make food, so it's it's sort of a an unnecessary effort on your part. So you've been eating <laughs> big food. I mean, I'm still alive. I figure it's got to be some kind of real, right? Are you? That's a pretty good point. I think so. I mean, how does anybody know they're anything? <laughs> let's Whoa. go kill this damn tree. Yeah, this is way yeah, too philosophical I, yeah, for let's me. Let's go take I, care I of that I think we really yeah. go and check out the tree, and at least then we can determine whether or not this guy is above board. If there really is an evil-looking tree, we'll kill it, and we'll know he's right. If there's no evil-looking tree, burn his house down. Does he have a description of this tree? tree appearance. Hey, wait, what was that part about the, the, the burning? <laughs> nothing. I and nothing. That's... I judge all men on their own. We're going to burn the tree down. What does it look like? Yes. She's, really she's our moral like center. If she says something, it's totally legit. <laughs> you know, for... I'm not... I'm not really sure why Jenny sent you. You guys are kind of mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. nothing but nice to this guy. We merely yeah. speak our minds. We we yeah. have no we have no filter for tact. We don't have time for that. <laughs> you that's that's why we're adventurers instead of fakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've noticed they're kind of assholes. Yeah, <laughs> birds can fly. They're not magic. Says Are the they? guy who didn't realize the walking stick in his hand was a bow and arrow <laughs> while we killed some rats. <laughs> to be fair, that could happen to anyone. It's dark down there. Down there. <laughs> So what does this tree look like? It's, well, we know it when we see it. It's bigger around than my cabin. Whoa. Okay, we're still talking about the tree, right? Well, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> I think you just killed him. Good job. <laughs> Do I get EXP for killing the kindly old man who's really no, creepy? <laughs> hey man, I'll take that. Oh, wait, level zero <laughs> and he's whispering back and forth with the the shimmery eladrin in the twilight woods and he says oh so like i said we don't need the crate of food but uh he says he can make it useful to you okay if you bring it with you uh hold on 
Fuck, I don't have the thing I wrote down. <laughs> well, that's balls. Well, even if he doesn't <clears throat> keep the crate, we did get the receipt that we delivered it, so we can still make money off that. He he uses the quill and pen to write down uh, three command words for you. Um, Pickles <laughs> reads them aloud. <laughs> That's... Am I saying this right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just pickles. Klaatu, Brata. Shit, hey, 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 that's my line. No, no, the... you <laughs> you easy with get... the Latin around you the don't... objects. <laughs> you don't get to... It's okay, it's backwards Latin. Obviously you learned nothing from National Treasure. You don't read anything out of the book out loud. Just call me John Stone. Or the mummy, I'm sorry. So he writes down three words. Wrong, terrible uh, movie. There's some really shitty dead language. Uh, so if you need food from the crate, just say Sustio, and food comes out. Uh, if you need any sort of healing, like bandages or, you know, crushed up leaves, say Mendus. And if you're in battle and you need any kind of assistance, just say Assistus. What happens if we assist us? What kind of assistance are we looking for? What pops out of the crate as Renee's character says that? <laughs> Easily, apparently. Luckily, he hasn't cast the enchantment on it yet. He says it's a one-time thing. Uh, and only Gems? What's an enchantment? Really need it. I don't know. I haven't gotten <laughs> far in the teachings yet. That's why he's doing Enchantment. <laughs> So, so what you're saying is we can only once we once we leave the vicinity of this cabin we can only say these words one time and receive benefit. She says the other ones you can use them a couple times. The th the last one uh, is is a one time thing. Anyway, can you hold the crate yeah, up okay. for me, please? Just like chest high. Could you could you have sure. a, repeat the words again <laughs> one more time? They're on the paper that I gave you in your hand. <laughs> Any of us read? <laughs> David looks down in his other hand. Holy shit! <laughs> so the... No, he, he confuses it with a bow. I'm trying to write them down here, so... <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the chat also. Oh, okay. The well, shimmery uh, being holds its arm forward towards the crate. I, sorry, Chris, I've been trying to follow your rules and not reading that. No. At <laughs> that could be the name of this campaign. Done. Thor Tor is surprised by things. So, yes, uh, the, hey, wait, the wait, shimmery wait, dark thing primus? holds its arm out forward, <laughs> and as it gets closer to the crate, uh, the <laughs> hand up to the elbow seems to sort of solidify. Uh, some different colored energy kind of infuses the box. Uh, it creaks and shrinks slightly to where it's probably only like two feet by two feet now. Um, and uh, the arm pulls back and goes back to shimmery again. And he says, well, well good luck. Um... If you need anything, I guess I'm here. I can't get, I, I can't go far. I'm old, you know. So, yep. It, you should use your magic to be not old. Well, hopefully, if you you if you could bring me the the hardwood, then maybe I could learn some magic and not be so frail. Like I want to be able to walk around without a cane. That'd be great. I'd like to be able to go back and visit town. You know, look get some get some drinks. What the hell is magic? Didn't didn't they kind of throw you out of town for being spooky and a witch? No, I right. left after somebody started saying mean things about me. That you were spooky and a witch? I don't... What's a witch? Well, just look, guys, come on, okay? Just... <laughs> okay, you guys, seriously, okay? <laughs> no, yes. I, man. I will gladly hurt. help you for all your magic. Okay, guys. Just because I That's told Chris this was going to be an excellent session already doesn't mean you guys can just shit all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's being so difficult. So is, is there anything else you guys need, or are you gonna are you gonna go fuck off to that tree? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like this guy. I'm partially drawing this, this this conversation out just to continue to get to do old man voice. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Kira holds out uh, a hand for yeah. um, the Aladrin guy to high five off of that sick bird. Yeah, let's go. Strong. <laughs> he he cocks his head and looks at you. Raise his hand. <laughs> he kind of wiggles his fingers to show you, hey, I'm, I'm see through. Just, just like, gonna leave yeah. me hanging, bro. Alright. So, Ash, do you. I'm just imagining this like the Big Hero 6 scene. 
Lara 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 so are you guys gonna go fuck off to that tree now, or what? <laughs> hey. All right. Well, so first of all, let's, yeah, let's yeah, take yeah, an inventory. Does anyone have the proper equipment to kill a tree? Uh, I have spears. Longsword. I am a dwarf without an axe. I don't know. I didn't make. My I have an adventurous kit. I imagine <laughs> there's like some flint in there. Yeah. Let's just start a forest fire. Oh hey, yeah. Uh, We're gonna get that tree eventually. If you open the crate, there's like there's some tools in there, like. An axe? axe? Some wood choppers axes yeah, buddy. and some rope. <laughs> this tree is no, no, oh, man, it's okay. yeah, we'll figure it out along the way. If this tree is bigger around than your shitty cabin, and you've given us a set of axes. He's, he said they're special, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Alright, fuck it, whatever. Look, I'm new special to this axe? whole thing, not as much as you all, but close to it, okay? So... If you could cut me a little slack, and then maybe once I've got more knowledge, I can explain things to you as thanks for helping me. Hey, so guys, I'm, I'm sort of feeling like until we go and, like, try something, we're not going to get a lot more answers this out of this guy. This is true. Let's or go. I've, I've been saying let's go to the, the goddamn tree. tree go to the burn it down. Tree. Go <sighs> to the tree and chop it down with the axes that are special. I or say something. we get right up onto it. Right up under it. We say the magic word for um, the assistance, and then some kind of robot is clearly going to pop out of this and it'll have a chainsaw for an arm. No. It's for a help with battle. We're not having a battle. We're going to battle the tree. We don't know that it won't make a robot. Let's go punch a tree to death. This is Minecraft now. Yes. Okay, let's go to the tree. Somebody is very clicky. Go, Ranger guy. Do a navigation -y thing. Is David still here? Are we are we done messing around? Can I can I do something now? We Ranger just asked you to explicitly. Yeah, yeah. But what what do you want me to do? Roll dice. Find the tree. Not be passive aggressive. So. Basically, Hold still while I stick you with several spears. <laughs> you should have you should have figured out like, oh maybe we're going to the woods. Maybe we should be nice to the ranger, huh, guys? Yeah. I I personally can say that I have done nothing to insult or harass the ranger. I harass the ranger. Chris, I'd like to <laughs> Chris, I'd like to make a nature check to find a way to the tree, but maybe lose track of some of the people on the way. <laughs> this party's starting out well. <laughs> You guys are you guys are great. <laughs> yeah. Hold on one How about a twenty-three? Oh, it just keeps going up, huh? <laughs> it's okay, I guess. I mean, if you like. It's okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm. Uh, do Never mind. No, don't lie down. Come back here. Damn Fucking passive aggressive dogs. <laughs> Three is pretty good. Uh, you, you managed to get uh, through quite a bit of the woods without encountering any sort of critters or anything. I'm not sure what's happening over there with Mike right now. His dog's doing something to him, probably. Mike, please mute your microphone. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's also like breaking up like nobody's business. If I should die before I wake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, most of the time, uh, you encounter a rather quick stream on your way. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any sort of bridge or anything. What do you want to do? How deep does the stream appear to be? Um, for some of you, probably shoulder deep. For some of you, probably over here. How wide is the stream? Uh, like 10 or 15 feet. Would the ranger be over his head? Oh. Artan is not a fan of water. He would rather not have to swim. 21 to Oregon Trail, this bitch. What, I actually have a smarter idea. <clears throat> Oregon Trail. Yeah. What do you have a plus nine in? Uh, let's see. 
nature, perception, the combination of athletics, dungeoneering, and heal is a nine. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't work that way. I don't have a nine in anything. Okay. I, I Both into nature the and perception are nines. Look, you made the character, bro. How that about we get one of the taller head. people to carry the crate and to carry a person on no, no. top of it no, no, no. and to just there's, make there's round a trips? Way smarter way of doing I've this. played this game before. Look, I no. grab one of the axes Stop. and I just start chopping Stop. down a tree to make a Stop. bridge. Stop. 21. <laughs> For what? For survival. To know how to ford a river properly. Or get over this thing. I don't know. Nature's well, you know creepy. that you never. You, My well, character knows you more know about this than I do. You never ford the river. You always pay the ferryman. Okay, give me two pieces of silver and we'll kill somebody. So, you know, the best way across this river will probably be either to lay a tree down over it or somehow get uh, a rope of some sort across to the other side that you can swing on. You, Jared Ranger. invents a microphone just to drop it. <laughs> Ranger, take this. This is called a bow. It's like a stick <laughs> with a piece of string attached to it. Fire and this you have one in your string. hand. Do we have athletics people? Yeah, so uh, that's a great idea with me firing, you know, the rope tied to my arrow and everything. But uh, I don't know if you've shot a bow before. Uh, most of the time when you shoot an arrow into a tree, it doesn't support the weight of a person. Okay, Varus gets bored and swims across. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, so you managed to make it across without drowning. That's your athletics, I assume, yeah? Yeah, I tie the rope on one side, and I hold up my arms in the air like, what? And wait for them to tie the rope on the other okay, side. Okay, so you're about 30 or 40 feet down from where you started, but uh, aside from being slightly waterlogged, you are still alive. Now tie it on your, your side. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tie it. I'll tie the river. I'll, t I'll tie the river. <laughs> I'll tie the, the river to this rope, and she ties a knot and throws in the fucking water. I'll tie the rope. Ties a rope the around the river, and it just stops flowing. <laughs> it submits to your will. <laughs> it damn well better. I had no better. idea my nature check was that high. So yes, uh, you have somebody holding a rope on one side. Uh, Varus managed to make it to the other side. What is everybody else doing? They're going to come across the rope now that it's tied to a side. Yeah, sides. I just forward the river hanging onto the rope. Yep. Or you can, like, wrap your legs on it and your arms and do that thing. Yeah, but I'm a human, so I'm probably sufficiently tall not to drown. Give me an athletics check for climbing on the rope. <laughs> oh, God I, damn, I, I we have to do an athletics check for this? Shit. I mean, shimmying across, you gotta be, you gotta be strong. He's not. He's walking on the, the stream. Oh, he's just holding the mean. rope while he does it. Okay. Because he's tall. I, on the other hand, am going to have to do the I'm in an adventure movie knee and arm crawl. It's going to be awesome. Faz, you get a plus five since you uh, you only need to use your arms. So you, you make it. Arden awesome. Artan's fucking drowning. <laughs> <sighs> Arden, Somebody's Arden, just going to have to, like, toss me. I can, I'll, I'll reach out and grab you because I'm a leader type. Say, Kira, you got a choice. Either oh, I'm Arden totally float grabbing away him. or use one arm to grab Arton. No, I'm totally grabbing Arton with one arm. Okay, solve the problem. I'm going to need uh, an athletics check to hold on to the rope. <laughs> ten. Okay, so both this of is you why are I dislodged. Love skill checks. <laughs> hey, ten's five, man. This is why I love D20s. Ten's average. So as they're going floating down the river, uh, as they're floating down the river, can Pickles check. take? W okay. Sorry, what are you saying? I was going to ask if Pickles can grab one of the axes out of the box and head them off and oh. see if this thing does something. <laughs> this will save you. Throw. <laughs> no, I'm going to try to get ahead of him with this magical axe. Arton, roll with a plus uh, two for your, your er, so plus three total for your check. That'll do. Okay. okay. So you both make it to the other side, uh, slightly further down, but still alive. Did I mention how much I don't like the water, guys? No. Oh, what, what species are you? Dwarf. Oh, okay. I, I, if you were something small and adorable, I would have shaken you out like a puppy. Do not shake me like a puppy. No. No, absolutely not. Look at this beard. Beard. I am like a proud man. man. <laughs> shake me out like a manly puppy. And then I muss up your hair. 
Nori, oh. what are you doing? Sorry, I was trying to. I didn't know much about Kenku, so I was trying to see if they actually had wings, but apparently they don't. They're wingish, but yeah, not not enough for flying. I was thinking gliding, but. Oh. You know what? That's cool. Do it. Okay. Um, Roll me will... a d20, and if it's less than like, uh, let's let's do like a normal save. So, ten or higher, you make it across. If... <laughs> you rolled a one. Damn. Luckily, birds are light, so give me uh, an athletics check to swim. Okay. Um, at this point, Kira sighs and jumps back in the river. <laughs> <laughs> a four. <laughs> wow, my dice just love me today. All right, so I'm going to say that I... Is it 24 sufficient to 24 save? 24 from Kira is enough to save the bird. <laughs> Why the hell did you take me out of the city? <laughs> Mike jinxed us all because he rolled to Oregon Trail this shit, and that's exactly what's <laughs> happening now. <laughs> One of you feels a little dysentery-ish. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stealth across the river. It's going to know you're there. I'm not stealthing across the river. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm just going to be out of sight so nobody else <laughs> sees where I am while I cross the river. I would just like to point out that I rolled a natural 20 to not die of dysentery. <laughs> no, you just died of something else. <laughs> there was a there invents a better mic and then drops that. Okay. It's a shame you spelled dysentery wrong. Pickles, what you doing? Uh, Pickles is a half orc, so he is also probably sufficiently tall to just kind of walk around, walk along the bottom while holding onto the rope. Okay, give me an athletics plus five, I think it was. Okay. Roll a one, roll a one, roll a one. Eighteen. That's good. eighteen. Whatever. I can I can walk and hold things. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Because you probably have the crate too then. So Ash, nobody can see you. Uh yep. now what? Well the Roman leaves. Is there a uh looking around, are there like trees tall enough that I could climb up and shimmy across some branches over the over the river? There don't appear to be any that head all the way across. Um, you could climb up a tree on this side and try to make like a running leap if you want to do acrobatics. Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay. Roll it with like a, let's say a book, an extra plus three since you got some height. So my acrobatics is plus four. So with the plus three, it's a seven. 17? Oh, whatever, that's fine. You can make it. Now you're all on this side of the river. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're all here, and up ahead the woods seem to grow like super thick, um, but between the gaps in the trees you can see sort of a clearing. Um, are you guys ready to head in and see what the hell's going on down there? Sure. Is anyone opposed? I'm not opposed. Okay. Who's it was a pretty good plan. Who's carrying the crate? Uh, yep. Kira will be. Okay. Just curious. You know, no reason. Uh -huh. It explodes. <laughs> a small nuclear device inside it detonates. <laughs> As Kira's melting, Pickles just yells out, Assist us! Assist us! I like how you didn't go for the healing one. No, I need somebody else to fight. Uh, so as you guys come into the clearing, uh, you see a rather large tree. Okay, for this part, I need you to ignore the people around it. Uh, and just focus on the things inside of it. I stabbed the people. You notice a rather large tree uh, with what appear to be dead bodies inside uh, an opening in it. Uh, Ew. It seems when you walk into the clearing that part of the tree twists slightly and faces towards you. Random people climbing over it, too. Does it That's seem to be cabin with? Them. God damn it! Those people are figments of your imagination. We've been affected from, by the uh... evil... Uh, they're just more Johnny Depp had this horseman movie. 
maybe I don't know. Um, and so is it as wide as a cabin? Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty huge. Also, the cabin was filled with super dead big, bodies. So there's that too. The cabin was only like 15 or 20 feet on a side. Um, so you know, it's only like a 15 foot wide tree. That's. Uh, yes, and as you guys see the tree uh, kind of shift towards you, you hear this snarling, hissing sound. Good. And these creatures emerge from the foliage, and it seems to be some weird amalgamation of a lizard and a pig and a nightmare. Okay, this tree has got to go. So can we just like leave now and then start a forest fire, or...? Yeah, what what would Smokey the Bear do? The area of woods that you guys came in through seems to be slowly f- squishing together to block your escape. Oh, yeah, but good. You said slowly. True. We need to destroy this tree. Let's destroy the tree. Open the box. What tools do we have? Uh, you have roll for initiative is your first tool. Cool. I don't know what my initiative is. <laughs> I did not make a macro for that. Dandy character sheet. Yes, I do. Let's see. Initiative. Yay, it's plus one. (laughs) There's is, uh... Hmm. That box looks evil. I think that we're in some sort of evil thing of evilness. This is only just occurring to you? Alright, so for the tree... Oh, I used to have my macros. I don't have my macros. That's my other thing. God damn it. Ugh. And the next thing... Are we still doing the plus one to attack thing if you move quickly enough? We never did that. <laughs> Unless by if you move quickly enough you mean charging. I meant in the sense that we decided on our moves quickly enough. Right. I had talked about doing that, but we never ended up actually doing that. Oh. My problem is, I always get together... (laughs) Oh, yeah, I did. I get together, like, an idea of what I'm going to do, and then whoever moves in front of me does a thing that totally messes up my plan. That's when you just do it anyway. Consequences be damned. Ash, what's your initiative? (laughs) He's... Three, he wandered off. Okay. Oops. Erdin got 19. Jeez. Yeah, so that means all my attack rolls are going to be shit. That's everybody. Alright, so... Um, just so everybody can see everything, you see the tree, these weird little roots <clears throat> things, yeah. and then uh, the, the gross ugly pig monsters. So, are the root things that we have to kill, are they... are they... targets? Uh, yes, you can target them. Uh, they haven't done anything, but there are these weird roots kind of poking out of the ground. It almost looked like slugs. Um, let me see something real quick. So we've gone over an hour, so what I'm going to do is start the combat for the next session. So thank you everybody for tolerating whatever the fuck we've been doing for the last hour and downloading this episode. Uh, we promise the next episode will have an infinite amount more combat. So that's something. More oh, actual infinite. combat and less implied combat. So thank you for downloading this latest episode. And we hope you continue to do so. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I was going to think of something that rhymes, but I can't, so peace. Sorry for our diatribe. Yeah, that would have worked. Thanks. Really, we're not recording. Thinking of it now. Hello, everybody. Thank you for downloading this latest episode of that D&D podcast. Last session, these guys were in the past, and they were like, what? Magic's a thing. And then this old guy was like, hey, go in the woods and kill a tree. And they were like, man, fuck you, old man. He's like, you will stop fucking off and kill that tree. And then they stopped, and now they're headed to the tree. And now we're going to fight. I'm Chris. I'm the GM. Now you guys introduce your damn self. Hello. I'm Andrew. <laughs> playing Kira, the uh, human warlord. And I'm going to be throwing spears at people's faces. Hi, I'm, I'm Adam Robert. The... I'll oh, be shit. playing the role of... I'll be playing the role of Pickles, the half-orc fighter. His name's Hogar, he just doesn't know how to pronounce it, so he calls himself Pickles. Pickles. The barbarian formerly known as Hogar. Thanks. Adam. Yes, I'm Adam, playing Kenku Rogue, Nori.
done. Mike. Mike, Barbarian Varus, little finger, not filler finger. The fat and the bald one. Please. David. David playing Ash, the ranger who without whom everybody would be dead in the forest. Question Apparently Renee. not, not true. Mr. Getting Across the River. <laughs> yeah, I swam was fine. Yeah, you you would never have gotten to that river of death without me. Apparently he had a nine in nature and I am better you. than you at nature. Yeah, what whatever you gotta tell yourself, Ash. You, you never yeah. you never rolled any of that, so I did. He I'm... did, he rolled a nine <laughs> like a twenty billion. It was rude. Anyways. Continue. Yeah, so anyway, I'm Ray, and I'm playing Artan, the Dwarven Bard. And I didn't get dysentery. And I can't swim. Swim oh, yeah. is overrated. So, let us begin the combats. Um, the grid is the purple thing. Uh, the map I uh, acquired already had a grid on it, but it is dumb and not good. So, I, the grid's the purple thing. Art, and you're up. Oof, okay, uh, I don't know, ah, uh, I am woefully unprepared for this moment. What the hell? Um, I'm going to... My guy... The grid is the purple thing. The grid is purple. Can we make it a color that's not purple, because I'm also seeing something pink? That's the pink, I don't... whatever that color is. It's no, but now. like I'm seeing double lines. Like there's two colors of lines on this. Can map. you just make it black, Chris? It's or kind... white. Or white. <laughs> Whoop! That's the background. Hold on. It's black now. It's almost invisible. Well, it's better than it was before. I, I can work with this. Um. <laughs> At least to, better. like, do a thing this time. Yeah, yes. that's excellent. I realized there was an op op opacity slider. Opacity? Opacity. Yeah. Either. It's a stupid word either way. So. Potato, potato. Hey. Let's call the whole thing off. Okay. Ah, where'd that come from? Is it a bow? Okay, one, two, three. All right, I'm going to come, uh, oh, shit. I don't actually... 